Good morning. Welcome to part 2 of our architectural detailing tutorial. This video is a continuation of the architectural technical drawing series and the objective of this series is to learn how to produce working drawings that can be read and understood by builders who will assemble the building. In this video we're going to go through creating building elevation drawings. Right now you're seeing an example of how building elevations look. As you can see here, building elevations show views of the north, south, east and west sides of the building. The purpose of the elevations is to show how the finished building is supposed to look from all sides and to show information that we can't see on a floor plan. For example, the height of the building and the height of the positions of the windows and other things. You'll notice that this drawing of elevations doesn't have any information like dimensions and annotations. The reason for this is that the client who commissioned me to draw this specifically asked me not to include any of that information. They just wanted the elevation drawings of an existing house. For this video, we're going to be working on a model of a house that I've already made. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know about the house structure modeling tutorial that I've made and we're just going to use that. Okay, let's begin. By the way, if you're new, consider subscribing. Now this is the south elevation which I've already worked on and I've already made it look pretty. And I've added it to the sheet as well. But I'll show you how to do it with the other views. So if you go into the north and we need to clean this up, but first we're going to make the scale at 1 to 50. And then any mess on the drawing, just clean it off by hiding it. Now reference planes, you can't select all with reference planes. So to get rid of those, you need to go into the Visibility Graphics Overrides and go into the Annotation tab and find Reference Planes and uncheck the box and then hit OK. And now our drawing is clean. But it doesn't look pretty like that. So we need to make this look nice. First, I want to make the roof the same color as the other one. Let's find out what the color is. 95, 95, 95. Easy enough to remember. Right click, override graphics in view by element. Ninety-five, ninety-five, ninety-five. Okay, now to make this pretty, you turn on your shadows and we go into the graphic display options. And now we just need to edit some of these settings to make it look nice. Make sure that your drawing style is hidden line and in silhouettes select wide lines. And that happens. Then go into shadows and show ambient shadows. And then go into lighting and make the shadows 20 because this is bit too strong. Over in the project browser find your sheet and double click into it and simply drag your view down into the sheet and try to align it with this one. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the east and west views. So I just need to clean up these drawings. Hey there! I'm following the exact same procedure as before, but this time I'm using the mighty power 
of video editing to run through it all quickly. Actually, this part of the video was void of sound, so I'm just recording this to fill up the silence. Uh, hey man, uh, how was your day? You, uh, get up too much? Weather's pretty damn cold outside. Uh, maybe I could advertise something right now. Okay, I think we're uh, done here. Now that they're all done, I'm dragging the last one in. And aligning it with the others. Now we need to add two more kinds of information on these elevations. And that is dimensions and text annotations. But with dimensions, we don't need to add as much as we did on the floor plan. It's just simply the height of the walls and the height positions of the windows. So here's all the elevations with the dimensions added to them and I've added a minimal amount of dimensions. These dimensions only include the heights of the walls and the positions of the windows and doors in the walls. So uh, I've used a black dimension on the outside of the building. This would probably be better placed on this wall here because this is the level 1 wall and its height should be specified separately. According to the east elevation here, the height of the wall is 3000. So these dimensions here, which let's say this is the central dimension, so the builders will be able to know where to position everything in the height direction. Then the next dimension goes up to the bottom of this window and then to the top of this wall. And then whatever's remaining of the top of the building. Now these windows over here, they've been dimensioned here already. And since I've marked them out once already, it should be understood that these windows are in the same position as these windows. So the dimensions for these will be the same. For the internal dimensions, I've marked them out as red to make them stand out and more clear. And I've just dimensioned the heights of the windows and doors so it's a little bit clearer on which windows and doors they are. But we can also mark them out with labels in reference to the labels on the floor plan. And I've also used the angle dimension to mark out the pitch of the roof. And I've done the same for the other elevations, whatever information needed to be marked out. The height of the wall of the first floor being 3000 and the red dimensions just show the positions again. And finally, I've added text to this sheet. I just did some research of some materials on the internet and made notes for the materials on the roof. You can actually search these on the internet. So this just means that the tiles are hanging on the battens and this sucking felt is something to stop the rain from going into the building. We have another note here about the gutter. Specification for the bricks. So it's laid in a stretcher bond. And a bit of a note about what the walls are comprised of. I did a quick research of what the U value of this wall might be. Now I'm not sure if this is exactly correct. But there's an example there. Wall ties are placed between the blocks and the bricks so that it ties them together. It ties the walls together so that they can act like one wall. So one wall is supporting the other. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, this is what we do. Subscribing means you'll get to see more. The next video in the Architectural Technical Drawing series will be about cross sections.